What's happening, people, and welcome to our podcast where we step outside the box and talk about atypical topics from growing minds. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Rainey. And we are your host. Welcome to our show. Microphone check. Microphone it's first thing check. we do, though. Look One, at two. that. Why is it so cool. loud in Looks amazing. Yeah. Welcome, my precious little goldfish. As normal, Rainey is taking her dab ski, and I should have had a bowl ski ready, but whatever. Here we are. It's, uh,. It's not blog day 58. <coughs> this is a podcast. What are we podcasting about? People don't understand about? the blog day joke. They'll get it if they just go to my YouTube. Anyway, today we're going to talk about, we're going to start with our trip shopping. <coughs> a normal shopping trip for us country folk out here in the mountain towns, right? Boy, I'm yelling into that microphone. All right. We'll adjust that later. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Anywho, to go to Walmart for us, you don't have to drive past a bunch of homeless people or 20 street lights or nothing crazy like that. It's usually probably five to ten border patrol, one or two sheriffs, and a lot of beautiful scenery. Right? Right. It's a mountain drive. What is it? 18, 19 miles to uh, the nearest Walmart. Your mom's 18 miles from the nearest Walmart. She's about 23 miles God. from the nearest Walmart. So, Techni bad joke. Technically, I guess <laughs> she's about 23 miles. Anyway. I saw her the other day. That's awesome. Yesterday when I was driving to work. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> how, how eventful. I don't know. Just we went the there. Show. Rainy recorded the whole drive. She likes to do that with her new, newly acquired iPhone-lian. iphone -lian? Is that what it's called? iPhone. It's just an iPhone? How boring for how much it cost. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> got the new iphone -ian and she's recording the trip. Yeah, and it's just and really we, pretty. Except for that one guy I had to pass erratically because he kind of cut me off. I'm not posting it anywhere. Oh, okay. Well, I, cut, <laughs> like, uh, I, I put myself out there. My bad. <laughs> Uh, then we went shopping, got no footage there really, just the entry, what my flash was on, so I think it freaked people out, right? You're like, yeah. you're like, next time, no flash. <laughs> and I told him I wanted to take a walk by the border wall, but we didn't. Yeah, why didn't we do that? We just kind of forgot. I didn't forget, I just thought, I forgot. You, I, I just thought you probably thought that I was thinking of another day. I definitely wanted to do it right then. Oh, yeah. Next time for sure. Because, no, this time we pulled off and we went to the lake. We got a nice view of that from the hill. Yeah, that's very hill. pretty, but the borderland is different. So, yeah, look out at for that my video. job, we got this book in called Borderlands. And they were selling it in New York for $100 a book. $100 yeah. to look at people from the borderlands. And the reason it costs so much is because they're nowhere near the Mexico borderlands, you know? What so is the borderlands? Borderlands? That's a company. No. Like the land lands. near the border? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what is considered Borderlands. That's why the company is named Borderlands. I just call they it Earth. They think they're... Just listen. <laughs> no, because calling it Earth diminishes what's really happening. So yeah. there's an idea of how we want things to be. And then there's how things are. And I think when it comes to something like that, this is just how things are, you know? Border Patrol, you guys are piece of shits. Yeah, well, no, because it's Border Patrol. It's just, their job, yeah, I know. They're, they're puppets. Just they're the just job. sleeping fucking sheep, I yeah, understand. But, but it's it's the people above that. You know, it's the governors and all them shits. You know, it's the old white Trump. people with money. Yeah. yeah, the people that want to I always keep... say this. Oh, what was that commercial we watched? They're drug dealers and rapists. Or oh, my something God. Like that. Who was it? Murders. It was like Kate. Kate Katie Hobbs or Katie something. Katie like Holmes. Some shit like that. I don't know. That bitch is crazy, though. Like, she's obviously off a rocker. She thinks <laughs> it's normal to keep people out because she thinks they're rapists. They're rapists. <laughs> they're coming over here and just raping all of us. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? It is ridiculous. It's like Absolutely they ridiculous. They can be rapists in their own fucking country. That's not why they're coming to America, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, they. The, most of the people that cross over illegally want to feel safe. and Nine times out of ten, they're smaller than you. So, so listen to this. I have an idea. And I don't want to diminish anyone. But, you know, those people have generational trauma, too, being told oh, their yeah. whole lives that America's the best. The American dream. Yeah. Little do they know, it ain't fucking real. That's know? why people go down there. I told you that's why... 
That lady goes down there, when they give their free health care and stuff, they remind them the American dream doesn't exist. Don't come down here, you'll be in hiding. You're yeah. going to struggle, you know? Don't and throw your baby over, it's a terrible idea. And know? I know you say there's no violence, but maybe people, you know, there could be. No violence where? In Mexico. How would I know? Well, because I tell you that people come to escape violence, too. So in violent oh. situations. Well, I just refer to my brother who lived there, and he, he just, he talks a lot of shit, so I didn't believe anything he said. I'm thinking more of, like, you're living in a dangerous, like, neighborhood, you know? Huh. Well, I mean, yeah, I kind of I kind of grew up over there, like, uh, in, a, in a sense. That's where I shopped. You know yeah, I mean? so. so I understand if people are just tired of living there, they're tired of the violence, and... A lot of the people crossing over are from Nogales, so yeah. <laughs> or like around that area. And then there's people that come all the way from South America. I mean, I think if they came all the way from South America, they definitely are allowed to come in. Yeah, you know what I mean. Exactly. <laughs> like, come on in, take it's your shoes ridiculous. off. You know, that's what I'd be saying. Let me give you like your first three grand from and get you I've rolling. Heard, you know, like Central America <laughs> or Central Mexico. <laughs> And the surrounding areas are very beautiful and not dangerous. You know, they're just a country. But it's once again those borderlands, you know? Like, why do... Why? It's so unfair. Ooh, so that makes us humanitarian? <sighs> no, you're a humanitarian if you go out of your way to go help people that are... Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not going out of my way, but I did mention that if I saw them walk in or they asked for something, hell, yeah, I'd help them out. I don't give a fuck about the law. I don't know. I mean, it's something that I'd I don't like fuck. to do. I would like to help them, yeah. No, I mean, I would like to volunteer and help them, you know? Um, and I know, and then you think that, and then you think, uh, you know, I'm not the right person. Like, what are they going to think when they see a white person helping yeah. out? But... That's what they want you to think. Yeah. Well, I, I delivered mail in the area, and this brings it up because uh, they always warned us to carry pepper spray because they've had illegals try to steal their mail vehicles in the middle of nowhere, right? So yeah. that they can make their deliveries and get back home. So, yeah, they've just been embedding us from the very beginning to just be scared of immigrants. Yeah, exactly. To avoid them at all costs, yep. you know what I mean? But and I have so, never seen an armed one. You know, that Never met an angry one. There's, you know, the nonprofit at our store, Voices from the Border. That's for everyone to look up Voices from the Border because they're great. And they go, they cross over, and they provide free health care and mm. food and water, you know, and uh, pediatricians and stuff like that. Mm. That would be awesome. That would be. I think that anybody who volunteers to go help people and put aside their lives to help Aye. other people's lives are really cool people. I think that's really cool. And I think that we should put it in the plans to ask, to do some volunteer work. Yeah. I mean, Maybe I one of these days, cons at school, we'll just skip a podcast and do some volunteer work. Yeah, see, that could be really interesting. Yeah. I know so many people that have, like, the information and would give us something to do. Okay, so, like, one lady in town, she's, like, my favorite lady. We sell, like... Um, handkerchiefs or uh, bandanas that say voices from the border. Uh huh. Um, and there's little hearts on it. Well, all she does is she fills in the hearts red. That's all she does. And she does like three, four hundred of them. And she just sits there coloring in hearts. Why? Just because she thinks, uh, because it's like an extra thousand dollars to put in color. And they wanted a red heart and because this image is like. It's like a transparent, you know, it's just an outline. So she just sits there make, putting on that extra little thing for people. Well, good for her. Yeah, yeah. and that's 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 really nice, easy. yeah. That's all you have to do. I would like to give back, you know? Yeah. I want to do something like that. We should do something. We should. You heard it, people. Give us some content. We need to know what you guys think the best approach is for people near the border. What, what can we do for humanity? What would be the best thing, you know? I would like to know because... You know, we're all about what? Get, we're all about spreading yeah, our word. I'll get in some trouble. Let's go. Like them Christians. <laughs> we're all about uh, spreading the word of anarchy. <laughs> but we never do anything. So, right. Uh, yeah. Nothing more always. Like, there's a song that Make says everybody wants to change the world, but no one wants to change themselves. Yeah. You know? And mm -hmm. you can't just decide how you want the world to be. You got to start small. 
volunteering to help people like that that are struggling in another country that is starting to take the system down. Absolutely. You, know, you got to put in that Instead of that going good. to work extra, we're going to go volunteer for another country. I think that would be really cool, you know, and it's a great community and everybody has the same things in common. Like, and we don't even know Spanish at all. No, but you learn. That's the thing. Well, yeah, we might. <laughs> we might end up learning. Like, it sounds like such a good idea and I just think because Connor's going to be in school full time next Ooh, year. Ooh, and then when that happens, we'll de we'll definitely have yeah, some. Yeah, we'll have a lot of free time, and I think I don't know about just... free, but a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, imagine he goes to school. He he'll go to school five days a week. Okay, so uh -huh. the first day, that first eight hours. You get all the cleaning done. The second day, you're like, well, now what? Yeah. <laughs> House is spotless. You get free time. You learn how to balance it. Right. Um, but, yeah, I might ask around because, you know. So, you're, you are a, you're a Sagittarius rising. Well, not. And Sagittarius risings are, like, all talk. Like, there's a lot of, like, <laughs> there's a lot of plans. <laughs> Just feeds right into there's it, what I was saying. Of, yeah, there's a lot of, like, building, uh, like, ah, uh, there was a sentence that came after building. Uh, oh, yeah, like, building plans and building the future with things you want to do. Okay. But that's a, just a Sagittarius rising. That's, like, your first thought. The Capricorn in you would be, like, I don't know, that's, like, new people and new scenarios, and I haven't practiced that yet. <laughs> What are we talking about? The border wall thing? Like if you were to volunteer for a summer. Like you'd have to Well, that's why I... Here, this is why I would take a totally different approach. And this is probably what a lot of people, just like me... What, what do we call it? Extroverts? Right? Introverts. Introverts. People don't like to really get out and meet yeah. new people. People like me, I need something where I don't have to go meet up with a crew. Yeah. I don't have to wear a vest and wear a name tag and shake Border Patrol's hand or whatever. You know, I want to go in my car park <laughs> you know and fucking literally hand shit over like here you go let me give you some food here's some water you know i don't know yeah, okay. i don't know what so i can do but i want something that. yeah something I'm and then border patrol sure. comes and i got eight cameras on me i'm ready no i'm pretty sure <laughs> live feed that they drive their own cars there and meet at a certain place you put on a vest and then you hand over water so you know it's like I see how you picture it very clearly. In I want to do it without the system, without yeah. the whole organized part of it. You I know. know. I want to just freely help. But it I would know. make me feel better. I know that goes back with what we were talking about. It's easy to say how you'd rather things be. Well, that's what I'm going to do. You, yeah, we'll tell you what. You go sign up. You wear the vest, and I'll be the guy in the background. Who the fuck's that? That guy's helping too, but he didn't want to be a part of the crew. Yeah, except you're going to Mexico usually. No, I'm not. I'm just going to the border. It's still in the United States. No, I understand they, the Border Patrol has a clearance area of like fucking no, 20 miles. but they cross the border. They go right there on the other side because the people can't cross the border. This is for people that have no way to get to the United States. But we can't cross the border. We can cross the border. Not legally. I have a birth certificate. It's not legal. Maybe I'll invest in a passport. <laughs> that's what you'll need, at least the U.S.-Mexico one, and that's like $180. And thank you very much for feeding our system. <coughs> I am going to go to the fucking wall and stick shit through. <coughs> Fuck the system. They put barbed wire there. I don't give a... I'll cut it. <coughs> All right, I can't cut it. Well, would you <coughs> just, like, drop a bunch of bottled waters along? Yeah, the oh, no, no. I would literally, like, try to holler at people. Hey, <laughs> let me hook you up. You know? <laughs> no, because you don't need anyone to acknowledge your help, and that's what it comes. No, I don't from. want it to go to waste. I'm not a rich person. No, I, I want to know I'm making but a difference. Anyone you know? who sees water is gonna get it, uh, except for border patrol. <coughs> They'll take it. Well, that's why you gotta throw it far enough into the border. Oh yeah. Toss it far. No, enough. but there's barbed wire, so mm -hmm. you're very limited on your range of motion. You probably could stick your hand. T-shirt gun. Yes! T-shirt gun. Oh my god! Yeah, fuck with sick. me, Border Patrol. Fuck so with put, me. You give it, you <laughs> Bottle of water. In a, soup. In a t-shirt. With a t-shirt, so yeah. So then they get a free t-shirt. You get clothes, yeah. Water. You get clothes and water, bro, right here. Oh my god. Hey, I like it. We I might know. just start a movement now. Yeah. T-shirt guns with water bottles in them. Oh, man. Like, oh my god. That's so smart. You heard it first. 
That's I'm one of those anarchist things you do, you know? Yeah. It's not violent. No. It's, it's creating a change. Yeah, and it's huge. People see that happening. Like, what is he shooting at Mexico? <laughs> Shirts and water, bro. <laughs> That's it. It's literally like a paintball gun. It has you'd a big old to, CO2 cannon on it. Like, it's. You'd have to, like, dress it all black. Like no, you then you like look like a terrorist. <laughs> you gotta wear like pure tie dye, you know, like put on some fake dreads, like you have full to humanitarian. No, bro. You, <laughs> you put the anarchy right. Save humans on, on a tie dye shirt, right? Oh, yeah. Anarchy in the front and yeah. on the back. Peace. Yeah, it's we're saving humans, and then um, yeah, human superheroes. That's what we'll be. That's, <laughs> I know, that's like some Patented, bro. Vigilante shit. Patented. Imagine if we bought a t shirt shooter and did this like secret thing that like, <laughs> we knew we were doing. Except for our Spotify listeners <laughs> and Apple. I'm sorry, it's just credit. And, and, <laughs> and all you guys. Yeah, all you guys that's are hilarious. awesome. Love you guys. Yeah, obviously. If you're down to listen to this goofy ass shit, <laughs> hey, we're not playing though. Somebody motivate my ass. <coughs> Somebody send me a little check and I'll, I'll get it done. <laughs> Although I don't want to support the system, would you be down if I did get a passport for something like that? Like, uh, I know you worry about me crossing I would hate it. I would stuff. hate it. I would absolutely hate it. Well. I have no control. I can't even get over there to you, you know. That's not true. They check you going in now, don't they? they? Do no, they check you going out. And no one's going to prevent you from going home. That's the thing, is they cannot hold you. I don't know, man. You've seen them little cages. It's scary. I'm claustrophobic, bro. The one, the <laughs> I can't would, go back. You would need your ID, you know? Oh, see, I don't even carry that. See, that'd be my dumb ass. I'd fucking be I, like, <laughs> my ID, shit. <laughs> yeah, we forgot like, it. How do we even prove you live here? So, yeah. you. Would I can need, speak English. <laughs> you would That's all I got. <laughs> need your ID. <laughs> but, like, that's... I'm Cambodian. <laughs> I don't know. They can't keep you. So, yes, you would be able to cross over at that <laughs> point. I can't even prove anything. I don't have anything written in my name. I cannot prove that I am a citizen. Uh, that's funny. It's pretty crazy. But, no, I'm definitely, I don't know. I want to... Uh, Except for that serial number. I want to do things that humble me because I think I need an ego check. And I would like to see situations that are worse could always use an ego check. I agree with myself yeah, on that. Yeah, exactly. And I just, I thought I heard Connor coming and I was about to like tell you to pause it. <laughs> no, he's, he's at school. <laughs> well, what was I listening to? Okay, well, whatever. Um, oh shit, he's at school. Hey Siri, set a timer <laughs> for 11.53. This is the most annoying thing I've ever heard in my life, just so you guys Didn't know. Work. Hey Siri. Oh my God, look, she's doing it Set again. a timer for 11.53 a.m. <laughs> I'm growing a passion for hating Siri. So anyway. She talks to Siri more than she talks to me. Ben hates it because She won't even jealous. look at the clock See? behind her. There's, There's a clock behind her and there. she'd rather ask Siri. No, because I don't want to forget to pick him up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> I would love to be humanitarian like that. Um, when I was in high school, I just told a customer this the other day. When I was in high school, I could have had the opportunity to go to a third world country with a group of kids. Mm, and I remember those opportunities. Yeah, yeah. And my school directly feed it into it. So it was a lot of, you know. Yeah, Catholic school. Yeah. Yeah. It costs money, but they, they you earn the money yourself. They all do the fundraising together. Mm -hmm. So it's like totally possible. I went to go, I went for, to the information meetings and everything. And it just like never came to fruition because of my situation, you know. There was never time for me to do things like that, but most of the kids that went, they were gone for six weeks, and they came back Jeez. knowing fluent Spanish. Damn. Because you're immersed in the culture, and you have to learn it. You yeah, you choice. literally, all these new people that are adapt. smiling at you do not know anything about your language. Yes, <laughs> So exactly. you got to figure out how to communicate. And you That's go, so cool. You have to have at least two years of Spanish. So oh. at that point, I obviously had two or three, you know, it. So you guys did not know how to communicate. We didn't, yeah, we knew easy, simple things right, to get right. us by. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what you just said? Yes. Sit down, stand up, stand up, oh, sit down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and I wanted to do that, and I never Gayaka. had the chance. Now, we have a child, and that really limits it. But at the same time, I don't know, you know, I wish the three of us 
could go to third world countries and volunteer and help. They probably don't even let kids do that. Isn't that dumb? Yeah, I don't know how that works. I've never left the country except for Mexico right there. It would be so cool. That's something that I just feel like I would love to do. Like, is it a waste? How old will I be when Connor's 18? 38. Is it a waste to go to another country then and learn the language at 38? No, that's still decently young. I'm 33. <laughs> I'm still a baby. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in five years, I'll be 38. Because I'm just thinking, you know. Or in five whenever... years, do you think I can learn a new language? Yeah. Right? That's not that old. <laughs> I would, I don't know. How would you feel if we, no, because you're a. Give me six months. Would you? <laughs> well, what language you are the you want kind of person <laughs> that if you had no other attachments, you'd be fine on the road. Yeah. Right? If you didn't have something to come back to, you know? Cats, dogs, kids. Yeah. So how old jobs, is our youngest you know. cat? One? All right. So in like 17 years, which isn't far off than like 14, you we'll know? You'll be able to what? Travel? No. I want to help people. Oh. I want to go... We like hit the road? Of, yeah. We have a lot of animals. Let's not get any more. Yeah. No, oh, like, I fully 1000% agree with that statement. I I'm glad I have it on recording. Okay. I don't mean like currently. I mean like when these pass. Yeah. You know, I want. I kept saying that too. I know. Can't replace any of them. I love animals and I love having cats. But I want to do something bigger than myself. We got to plan our future accordingly. I don't want to live this exact life forever. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to we're going to do some traveling for sure and we got to plan accordingly, all right? Yeah. Which means not adopting any more pets, obviously. Yeah, exactly. Because <clears throat> I think that <coughs> I think that Connor would be down to go if he was like fourteen or fifteen. Right? So like like spend six or eight weeks somewhere helping somewhere. You know, summer times. Right, or right, 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 right. So I don't think he has to be eighteen. I think he just needs to be old enough. Like 13, 14, 15. It's always a risk, though, too. Like, didn't your sister go to a third world country and catch some? Yes. Yeah, she so there's, did. there's always that risk. <clears throat> but that That's, was before they had, like, vaccines and stuff. It's pretty scary. I'm not very well vaccinated. No, you get, you have, for certain countries, you get the vaccines before you go. Like, it's, like, required, you know? Oh, my God. <clears throat> but that's the point. That's why you go to those countries. Is because why can't we just get in a box and jump on the bottom of a plane like the other people do and do it like in manifest like, like beat the system you know? <laughs> um no passport <coughs> because Ten. I'll pretend to be a box of plushies <laughs> uh I don't know I guess <coughs> those come with the anarchist territory you know yeah I don't know man yeah I don't I don't like the whole systematic right. shit okay. I don't like being labeled and so maybe I'm thinking too bigs right so we'll mm -hmm. scale it back down because Mexico I'd love, these yeah. are the people we can help you're right and we're here now yeah because this is the people we're around these are the people we can help and we don't have to go to other countries we need to help everybody you know there's poor people too though not just mexico mm -hmm. but no yeah there's people right here in our town that are way worse off than we are you know yeah but then you go like i don't even know how to help them you know oh well, yeah then it's more looked at as like pity and shit like but the when water it's machine, on the border it's okay? like it's different. 30 cents to fill a gallon which is outrageous it should be ch way cheaper yeah it's outrageous like 10 yeah. cents you know and i you know, or or there should be like a permanent donation box where everybody in town helps keep the water going. Well, and like, that's just it. You put up a donation box in this town, and you get thousands. You know. No, I'm saying permanently. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. There's a water machine in town. Yeah. And people should work. Like you need a, at least a penny to turn it on. There should be two of them. <laughs> but the town should make sure that nobody has to pay for water. It's all donated. So right, right, can, like, right, right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right, right, water. right. If you didn't bring change, there's a bunch right there. Yeah. Right? No. Yeah, or something like that. I mean, the the crazy enough, but there are no homeless people in this town. There aren't. There no. are no homeless people whatsoever. No so one like, in this town would let that happen to a local. No, it would. Ne we wouldn't allow it, and that's the beauty of our community. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, you could leave a bucket, not, maybe not a bucket of quarters, because, you know, we have teenagers, but, you know what I mean? You could leave dimes and nickels there, and nobody's going to take it. 
right? Besides children. <laughs> Everybody we knows. tweakers. Kids are shit. So yeah, that's true, too. We do have a couple of tweakers running around. That's why I'm saying you, you can't just leave the money. I'm talking permanently funded for With everyone a camera to get on free it. There you go. water. You just put a camera on a change bowl. You're not loose. <laughs> that way they know they're being watched. Imagine water that you just walk up to and get a drink, like a water fountain. Right. But in big scale for people that need water for their homes, you know? Well, this is a cyclist territory. You fucking better believe they'll be investing in that soon. A, a water, water bottle, bottle refill? Yeah, or a water, a water, permanent watering machine. Yep, you guarantee it. They'll invest in it because the cyclists are, like, taking over around here. They got a lot of money, it seems. It's not cyclists. It's the two that have the money to bring more cyclists. <clears throat> the so, two? Yeah. Well, you know how, like, everything is a pyramid scheme? Yeah. Yes, this couple, you know, they're funding everything that's happening. And they're bringing the bicyclists in. It's them pulling the tourism in with everything. And Interesting. The business owners are really happy about it, and that's why I don't want to be a business owner. I don't want to own a business because that's all I'm going to think about is how good the tourism is Monopoly. for business. Monopoly. Yeah. yeah, all you can think about is climbing that ladder and getting bigger and better. Instead it's never just, enough. Yeah, exactly. It's never enough. And I don't like that business mentality. Um, but I have to find something else. I can't decide that... I don't want to work because it's a business, you know. But well, I want to run a different kind of business, maybe yes. like a like a nonprofit based on donations, you know. Yeah. That would probably work out really well here. Yeah, you're probably right. Like Thanks. a youth center, an arcade. Like we have one, but I I don't know any of the kids that go there. No, why would you? You're not in school. That's true. <laughs> you're like I don't know how good it is. Room. That's all I'm saying. I don't know how good it is. Oh, it's great. Okay, so what about like an arcade? Bring it back retro, bro. Um. Hand the sanitizing gas station, stations everywhere. The gas stations for sale. <laughs> is it? Oh, everybody wants them gone. That's why. No, it's because the cost of gas. He just got tired of doing it. Hmm. And it came to the point where something broke in inspection and, you know, domino oh, after domino. We no longer have a gas station? No. <gasps> you heard it, people. I don't want a gas station. The apocalypse is near. I'm saying the building is available. <laughs> That's cool. <clears throat> but it has a giant gas tank under it. But no, you know, I want to volunteer. No, I'm pretty sure they're draining it and clearing everything. I want to volunteer at, like, the art center. You know, because, mm. you know, all I want to do is, like, work with kids, specifically, like, ages 11 to, like, 16. Interesting. Yeah, like, that's what I want to do. Um, that would be fun. And then, say you work with, like, immigrant kids, you know, you could do, you know, just, uh, I want to change the lives of kids because kids always feel like the life they're living in is permanent, you know? Yeah. And as a child, the life you're living in is never permanent, so. I just don't want to look like any kind of a person that's feeding into a system or doing systematic things or leading kids to that. That's why I said just like a retro arcade, man. I'll put up the hand sanitizers, but other than that, don't be a bitch about it. It's an arcade. It'll be fun. Yeah. You know, and not with them stupid-ass credit cards either, with coins. A coin arcade. <laughs> that's what it'll be called. Coin arcade. I don't know, I man. <laughs> if we ran an arcade, I'd want a claw, a claw machine. Well, duh. Yeah. It's got to be a claw machine. Exactly. Cool shit in it, you know? It would be really cool, though, to be known as those people around town. You know, we can even have, like, a little side hustle in there, like a little prize booth. We could give tickets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Prize booth. No, It'd that's be like, too much. I don't know, man. Around here, there's nowhere to take your kids. There's nothing to do. Yeah, but you can't. Everything's cost that, a fortune. Yeah. What if you just said, "Hey, all you need is four dollars and quarters, and you guys can all come in here and play a few games," you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and then, pretty sick. And then save your tickets. It's obviously not far from home. <laughs> and then where do you? Uh, where's the nonprofit? You know, where do you donate it to? If it's for kids, it's got to go like. Well, that's you know. You just say, you know, like, every dollar made, a dollar will go to. 
like you know, well, like non-profit half, means you don't profit. Through. Period. Right. So everything you get just goes in turn. People donate. But does it go back to paying for the rent? That's what donations are for. Okay. Like you know, an envelope. Right. 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 So everyone else pay when you when you play the arcade. The first. Those envelope. are the those are the donations. No. That, to the public. To yeah, to the whatever we decide. You have like a permanent donation box right or you run fundraisers right oh there you go yeah. you run fundraisers and people know like tonight's cake night at the arcade exactly donations exactly. see and accepted. people know me which means it would work yeah which means it would work for us you heard it people <laughs> I think we should do a retro arcade with cake night and like prize boots, the whole works. That'd That's be it. Sick. Nothing crazy. It doesn't have to be a restaurant or no. anything extravagant. Just a freaking arcade. It's simple. So you're telling me that our goal right now is to open a non profit business here in this town. That's like the goal. How beautiful would that be? It'd be sick. Would it make you feel like a, uh, a successful human? Definitely. I think I would. Yeah. I'd feel like I'm doing better than anyone I know now. Exactly. You know what I mean? I don't you know anybody know? that does this. The donations, I mean, obviously they help pay for your rent too, but it's like... But no, I'm talking about doing the work, like getting the donations that the people pay into the arcade and have a good time, like actually going out and recording it, putting it on YouTube, you know, like sharing it with the world. Like All right, folks, you heard make, it here. Making the move. What do, what do they call that? Oh, no. Starting a movement. Okay. Yeah, the Me Too wagon. Jump on, people. Peace. Right? Peace.